Alright, welcome back everyone. I'm SquareX987 uh, as part of the Naked Gaming Group channel and uh, we're getting back to Resident Evil 3 uh, Nemesis on the GameCube. That's a long intro. So anyways, we uh, we finished up the uh, the park last time and now we got into this um, I never have really, I guess it's a water treatment facility but anyway, we uh, not we pushed Nemesis off the uh, <laughs> off the balcony of the entrance here we had the choice of either uh, jumping off ourselves or pushing him off, so I chose to push him off. But anyways, alright, let's see what we're getting into here in this facility. That door's locked, we can't go in there. We can go in here, and we should be meeting Carlos in this room. If my memory serves me correctly, which it does. Carlos. Jill, listen very carefully. <clears throat> They're planning on launching a missile directly into the city as soon as day breaks. The explosion will be powerful enough to destroy everything. Are you sure about that? Positive. I heard it straight from a supervisor. They'll go this far to cover their tracks? Come on, we have to hurry. There isn't much time left. Okay. Alright. Well, first things first, let's check out this file here. Manager's Diary. April 25th. Today is my 30th birthday. Hey, he's the same age as me. Except this was in 1998. Uh... Uh, anyways, I was transferred to this facility today. I am very happy because the work environment is very different from, uh, from the life in the university. Duh. May 14th, the disposal system has been completed. Using a special kind of gas, it can decompose the cells of the guinea pigs. We have to try this out before beginning practical usage of the system since it is not 100% stable yet. May 20th, while I was checking the treatment room, the door shut and I was locked inside. I couldn't get out for one hour. I guess even if you have the key card, it's useless when you are locked inside. June 7th, the guinea pigs we have to dispose of are increasing. The system is not working smoothly. The laboratory staff doesn't listen to my opinions and I'm getting extremely frustrated. July 16th, we can't dispose of all the bodies and the quality of the liquid medicine is not good enough either. July 29th. Though the function of the system decreases, the number of bodies we have to dispose doesn't. The infection level has increased and the antibodies we are using is no match for the new mutation of the virus. Some of the workers have been infected by the disease. I have continued my work, but I always keep a gun with me. I must remember to save one bullet for me. I, I want to weep. I don't want to die here. I swear that I'll lose my mind if I imagine how painful it, the death will be. Another guy that's trying to commit suicide. That's three people now I've come across. Alright, well, this scenario, there's no gunpowder here, so it's in another area of this facility. And, uh, let's see, we need this facility key to get through the next area. Let's see, I think it has an alternate name. A plastic card engraved with an ID attached to it. It seems to be coated with some kind of special painting. Nah, just facility key. Alright. Refill my first aid box. And, first things first, we'll go into... Uh, let's see. Well, first things first, I'll equip my shotgun. I don't think I'll need... I, no, there's no enemies in this room. I'm getting it confused with another. But, uh... Anyway, this puzzle here is pretty simple. Not really a puzzle. You have all these, uh... You have this... I guess it's like a steam in... Uh, steam pipes. Anyway, they're blowing out steam. You have to get to the other side over there, so you just have to push these switches. And make your way back across. Because one switch turns off the steam pipe closest to you. So you have to go all the way over here. Turn this one on. And then make your way back across over there again. Turn this switch on again. And then now you should be able to turn both of these off at the same time. And then you should act be able to... Let's see, this controls the power... Yeah. This uh, powers up an elevator here. So you needed to come to this control module. Uh, either first or last, it, depending on which, uh, depending on if you jumped off the bridge yourself or if you pushed Nemesis off. Either way, you'd still have to come back up here and uh, do this one, or do this control module here, or operate it. That's the word. All right, so now we can just go back across, so or we can leave this area. We're done here. So now the elevator that we need to get to has uh, power. Now you don't actually see the elevator because uh, if you uh, from from upstairs, but if I jumped off the uh, the balcony out there, I could have uh, seen the elevator on my way back up here. 
but you know, it's fine. You you would eventually find you'd have to come back up here to find that anyway. So, R regardless, if you knew there was an elevator, oh crap. Well, I can use these. That's right. I have this. Ah, you jumped right to me. Good job. Still took two ramp. Uh oh. I haven't saved in a while either. Hey! Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Okay. I got lucky there. Now you're dead. I think. Yeah, you're dead. <laughs> Definitely dead. Alright. Now we can go in here. And we still have a use for that facility key, so we didn't discard it yet. I'll let you know what it's for, but it's not something you have to do. So we just need to grab this uh, <laughs> system disc, aka, well, bonus points if anyone knows what that th what this disc is. Okay, it's a floppy disc. They're, they're not really used anymore. I kind of miss them, actually. Then the, after the floppy disc, we had the, uh, oh yeah, I forgot about these guys. Yeah, after the uh, floppy disk, we had the zip drives, which just, were just um, big floppies. I think they were, were they 1.44 megabytes? Hell, I don't even remember what size they were. No, that was, I think that was the regular floppy disk. It seems like it was 1.44. I can't remember. I think it was like three meg, a little over three megabytes for a zip drive. It was just a big floppy. Anyways, that's the elevator that we saw a minute ago. We still... It's still not fully functional yet. We actually have to go downstairs. And as I said before, if you'd went downstairs to begin with, then uh, you would have had to come back up this way to see all this, so. All right. I just noticed my inventory is full too, which that's okay, because we're about to drop off some stuff anyways. All right, what's in here? Oh, zombies, okay. Well, the chimeras were upstairs. Um, which, uh, no, those chimeras are always there. But this air, this room here can either have chimeras or zombies. And I actually prefer it better if it had the uh, chimeras, but that's fine. We can make do. Alright. Come here, jerks. I knew you weren't going to do that. I should have known. Well, that's fine. I gave, that opened up an extra slot for me. Where are those other ones? They must be so far away. Oh, yeah, they're right there. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take these. There's some extra shotgun shells here. It's just the normal ones, but that's fine. I'll, I'll use them. But now, remember, we can't change out with the shotgun. We can't exchange the, uh, the enhanced shotgun rounds with the normal shotgun rounds. You have to actually empty the chamber out, or empty the, uh, I guess, cartridge. So instead, when I'm... Oh, wait. Okay, worms. Now this room here, this is one you got to be careful with. Either because usually if you get hunters in this room, it's a very narrow hallway, and it's uh, pretty easy. Oh, crap! Get off me! Get up there! Get up there! Thank you. Yeah, if you run into hunters here, you're pretty much, uh, and you haven't saved, <laughs> it's uh, pretty difficult to get out of that room there. That's why I'm kind of glad that there's worms in there instead. All right, here's a chest here, another save point, which will be. No, I won't use this one. I'll use the one back upstairs. Okay, let's see. Let's take my uh, herb here. We can drop that off. Um, uh, let's see. I need another, let me refill this with another first aid spray. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. And then we have the magnum here. Let me reload this magnum. Now I have two choices here. I can either. Um, I get some more ammo here. I can either make magnum rounds, which I think I am going to do. And do I need to make some grenades, though? I think I do. I can't, because I don't have enough uh, gunpowder. Uh, mm -hmm, I see. Well, in that case, I don't think I'm going to. I'm just going to create. Let's see. I can put these back here for now. Actually, I can put the, I'm going to need some extra slots anyway. And I have to come back up here so I can actually just empty out everything and then have the reloading tool only. 
There's no enemies in the next couple areas I'm going to, so it's fine. I'll just keep the magnum. That's about the only thing I need. Alright, let's go check out this file here. Security manual. Uh, security of the plant. Since this plant is a facility under the disguise of a deserted factory. Okay, so it's a deserted factory that I'm in. Civilians will sometimes enter. If this should occur, do not hesitate to shoot them. If they choose to surrender, arrest and then transfer them to the laboratory as new guinea pigs. <laughs> you will be rewarded. Maintenance of the device. This entire plant is controlled by an epidemic prevention system. When contamination is detected in the treatment room or decomposed uh, specimen pool, the plant will automatically uh, be locked down for isolation. In that case, you must follow the manual to unlock it. If the contamination is over the limit, the whole system will be autom will automatically locked down. Then you must remain in the plant and wait for some sub subsequent orders. In other words, you're dead. Those who leave the facility will, without permission will suffer s extreme consequences. In other words, they'll kill you. Kill you. You're dead either way. All right. All right, take this water sample here. Now we get to do the most annoying puzzle of the entire game. It's not difficult, it's just kind of tedious. Or, yeah, you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. All right. All right, here's my, my gunpowder. Let's see. Uh, do I want to make magnum rounds or not? I don't think I do. Instead, what I'm going to do is... Ooh, I don't have any grenades. I just, I just realized that. Crap. Uh, let's see. I need a C. I do need one C round. That's fine. And I need to mix a B with it to get my acid rounds. I know I said I wasn't going to make any more acid rounds, but at this point in the game, I'm towards the end, so... What can I do? I got, can I make another C? I can make another C and a B. No, I cannot. I can make a C and an A, so that's what I'm going to have to do. Make some additional flame rounds. Alright. That will work. This should, should give me 20, uh, 20 grenade rounds, I think. Awesome. That'll work. Okay, and then there's a first aid, uh, first aid spray. I will take it. All right, and this machine here, this is what we need. This this machine here has this uh, card reader for this facility key. Now, you only, uh, it doesn't tell you what it's for, but you'll see later once we uh, get to that area, because I will be going to it. Just to show you, I'm not going to pick up the item that's in there. But anyways, now we use this water sample here, and we get to do the this annoying puzzle, which basically you see A, B, and C there. You have to match the wavelengths uh, between the devices here and try to make it match the very top. If that didn't make any sense, that's fine. I'll show you once we get started here. Alright, let's start with A. Basically, those little dots down there have to kind of match up with what's going on above. So, if you move them here, can't go there. Can't go there. It can go there. See the ones that they have to match up with the symbols up top, so it could possibly be the solution there. So let's go ahead and go back. Now let's see. Let's check out B. B looks like it could be okay. So now let's check out C. Okay, let's see. C. Uh, let's see one, two, and a top. One, two. Nope. Either A or B is going to have to move. C. Uh, can't stay there because there's not an extra slot there. So let's do let's do left. Can't go there. Can go there. Okay. Let's see. Can go there. Can go there. All right. Now let's try B. Try move B again. And move B to the. Let's see where else is a long part that I need though. Oh two spaces over. So one, two, one, two, one, one, two. I think this is my solution here. You kind of, you just kind of match up the uh, the dots between the top and the bottom there. To try to match the picture at the top. Let's see if I got it. 
Yep, I got it. It wasn't too bad. So now we can head to that elevator. Or it's not an elevator, it's just a door. I think I've been I've been calling it an elevator all along, but it's actually just a, a door. Like I just said. For some reason I repeated myself. Alright. So now all we have to do is come back over here. Alright, let's see what we need. Uh, I'm gonna keep these for a minute. Uh Where's my pistol? I need that back in here. Um, oh, I'll put it all down here. Okay, we do need this. Where's the handgun rounds? I'll probably go ahead and just use those. And the shotgun. And the other shotgun. The shotgun rounds. I'm trying to get everything I might need here. This. Um... Grenade launcher. Let me change out my rounds here. There we go. And let's do this. Oops. Alright, tell you what I will do. I'll drop off this here. Don't need that. I'll keep those. Drop this down here. Uh, I'll keep those and those. Those are fine. That's fine. I need my disc back and my... Um, uh, first aid box. Where did it go? There. Okay. I think it's everything I need. Um, yes. But before that, let me save. Which I could save right here. Alright, now let me get my first aid box back, because I'll need that. Okay. And let's go ahead and equip my, uh... We'll use this shotgun, I only have seven rounds left in it anyways. Oh wait, did I pick up the magnum? I did, okay, good. Ah, should have known you were going to grab me. Get off. Alright, now we just head back upstairs. No. Yeah, we head back upstairs. Oh. Oh, you know what? I don't need to use I need to save those. I need to use this one instead. I know you were going to try to... Oh, figures. Well, it's kind of hard to aim on the stairs. Yep, still not hitting. There we go. Kind of had a weird hitbox there. Oh well, that's fine. So much for using those four. I should have... I think this shotgun's actually weaker than the other one. The other one has more of a scatter shot. I should have kept using it. Oh well, that's fine. Like I said, we're getting towards the end of the game here, so there's not too much uh, too much left to do. Wait a minute. Before I head in there, I know there's some green herbs here that I didn't pick up. I don't actually all those green herbs I've been green and red herb combos I've been picking up, I won't actually need to use all of them. Okay. Now let's check out this room. I'm sure there's nothing bad in here. You're Whoa. still wandering around. Nikolai? So, you want to get out of here alone. Is that your plan? I made certain none of the other supervisors survived. Since I'll be the only one who knows what really happened, I'll have more bargaining power when it comes to discussing my bonus. Then why kill me? I'm not on their payroll. They want you eliminated for reasons of their own. 
The amount is modest, but there is a reward to be claimed upon the confirmation of your death. That's great! Except I have no intention of contributing to your retirement fund! Uh, I think he finally died that time. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Well, no more Nikolai. He's finally dead. Well deserved, too. Huh. I wonder who could have killed him. <laughs> Alright, anyway, we use our floppy disk here. <laughs> floppy disk. I think I was mentioning last time I was... Oh, well... We can actually just, I should have stopped the recording there, because uh, we're here at the end. That's fine, well, I don't think I can pause this anyway, so I'll let this sequence here start. Please evacuate immediately. Stars. Yep, it's you know who, again. some of that de decomposing liquid they were talking about. Alright. Well, that's all for now. I'd like to thank everybody for watching, and uh, please subscribe to the Naked Gaming Group channel. It really helps out a lot.